and welcome to Chief Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today I have some quick tips about drawing eyes. Um, eyes are like one of my very favorite things to paint or draw or, or render and stuff like that. And so people ask me all the time about like what kind of um, things have you learned about drawing eyes. And so I am going to give you like a little teeny quick reference about um, some of the things I've learned about eyeball drawing. So here we go. Um, we got some, um, a little reference photo here that I'm going to work on. I'm not, I'm just going to do one eye so we don't overload you here. But um, so the first thing that I look at here is that um, the, the two edges of the eye. And so I kind of like lay those in very quickly with a light line, like so. And then I look for kind of, I lay in kind of a center point, which I see as being like right about at the bottom of the pupil, all right? And also where the tear duct lines up. So I always put the tear duct right here at this kind of intersection. So you need to keep in mind that the tear duct is actually a very prominent part of the eye. Some people kind of just like leave it out completely, all right? And then I just kind of lay that in as my end point and then also put in the end of the eye right there. All right, and so then I'll come down and lay in a center line. Okay. And then the other thing to keep in mind is that eyeballs aren't flat. They're a ball. It is a round object covered by two, um, and it's like an envelope of skin. And the thing that you need to keep in mind is that the eyeball itself is a very, very pronounced shape. And when you try to deny that round shape and you're just rendering all this other business that's going on, you lose the fact, you, you lose the point of what you're looking at here. So I make a point of sketching that in. Now, granted, you're not seeing all of this circle, you're seeing a part of that circle because part of it is up inside your skull, all right? So the other thing is once you have that laid in, the bottom of this ball is actually this part right down here, okay? So that shape right there is very, very crucial. Now, in every makeup commercial that you see, they are going to airbrush that out because everybody thinks that that's like a bag under your eye. It's not. That's the bottom part of your eye. So we are going to sketch this in. What is happening on my pencil here? Sketch this in where the tear duct part ends. Okay. And then how the bottom eyelid comes around. Okay. And then it terminates up here. Okay. Then the top eyelid comes across like this. All right. Now you see that the top part of your eyeball and the bottom part of your eyeball is obliterated by the eyelid. The other quick tip that I will give you is that you very often actually can see the edge of the eyeball here in the corner of your eye. However, with eyelashes and the shadow cast from your brow or your eye, that shadow kind of causes this whole edge to get lost. Okay. So that part is often not as visible, but it's still there. So it's a good reference point to just kind of lay in there. The other thing to keep in mind is that eyelids aren't flat. All right, eyelids have heft. They have a little bit of thickness and your eyelashes don't sit on top of the very, very edge of your eyelid. Okay, so when I sketch those in, you have to put some meat in there. Now, younger people, this very uh, edge is very, very visible. As people age, because your skin just gives up on you, um, this becomes less visible. But 
and is less pronounced, but it's still part of what's going on there. So we lay that in there. And a lot of times you can't see it from the front, but you will see it for sure along the edges. It depends on the angle. All right, then we have, where is the iris? So as you can see in our reference photo, it is not down here, it is not way up here, it is barely, barely skimming the edge of the eyelid down here. So we're going to lay that in right here. I'm gonna follow the curve of the eye, okay. And then your pupil mimics that circle Okay, and then a very important thing that people often like miss is that where the reflection point is. And so the high point on this, where her, the reflection in her eye is, is like right in here. Okay, and then you also have some like little cast shadow from her eyelashes, all right? Now, because the eyelid is, is, is thick, we have a pronounced dark line right along here where her eyelashes occur. And then we have the top of her eyeball here is actually causing her eyelid to bend in. So we're gonna lay that line in, just like this. Follow that on around. Okay, and it kind of, it kind of gets lost on this edge right here. And then when you're talking about brows, of course, brows are kind of like a big deal here these days, but brows a lot of times will come straight up from the tear duct, like right here. And then the peak of them is like right here at the edge of your iris up here. Now, some people have some sloppy brows they're all over the place, but don't worry about it. Just kind of lay in a rough line first and make sure that you like the shape of it. And then you can always go back and kind of correct and adjust. Now we've got our framework in. And so then we can go back and start laying in some basic value to kind of customize what we're looking at here. Got this part a little bit too big. So we're gonna shave it down a little bit. And then we're just gonna put in some basic stuff just to kind of define the shapes. And just remember that there is a cast shadow from the upper lid a lot of the time. So you will have this kind of darker edge that rolls around. And then we'll just take this part out. And I'm not too worried about all the little teensy details, we're just trying to get our basic shapes laid in so that we can see what we're looking at. And then we're gonna have a curve around here for where the brow bone frames the eye socket. I'm not going to be able to say everything about it here today, but you get a basic structure in there that you can work from so you kind of know where you're going. And lashes, depending on the angle of the eye, can um, be very visible or not visible at all. So. 
can choose how you want to deal with those. But gives you a pretty good jumping off point for rendering some eyes. So enjoy.